Hello everyone. The word listen contains the same letters as the word silent. So be a very good listener. Today's topic is a continuation of last class that is tissue, plant, tissue. I told you tissue is of two types, plant and animal. So we will deal with plant tissue today. Now, in the lower forms, organisms are unicellular, consist of one or few cells and sometimes these cells act as a colony or a filament. For example, in the case of bacteria, unicellular. In some algae, you will see filamentous, a number of cells united one above the, uh, the other forming a filament. Okay. But in the case of higher forms, the plants are multicellular that means the number of cells unite to perform a certain function and these cells can be of different types shape size origin and function you will see a, a small structure of a number of cells multicellular plant tissue you can see mitosis also these are a number of cells arranged one above the other right now the plant tissue is of two types, meristematic and permanent tissue. Now what is meristematic tissue? A group of cells which divides constantly and produce new cells. That means meristematic cells are those which is continuously dividing and forming new cells. In animals and lower plants, all the cells of body have the power of cell division. But in higher plants, certain regions shows meristematic activity like stem tip, root tip, like that. So, these tips have an undifferentiated mass of cells which is known as promeristems. So, this is a starting of meristems from that the meristematic cells divides, grows out. So, promerism. Now, how is the cell? The cells of meristematic region have abundant cytoplasm, a big nucleus. Usually the vacuoles are absent. The cells are very closely packed, tightly arranged and they have very thin cell wall consisting of cellulose. And the cells mainly are isodiametric, that means equal size. Now, this meristematic region or meristems are classified based on different categories. Position, time of origin and pattern of growth. So, position. It can be apical, intercalary and lateral. Time of origin, primary, that means the starting one. And secondary, that means which is developing from the primary one. Pattern of growth, which can be mass, plate and rib. We will see this all in detail in the next class. I told you the plant tissue is of two types, meristematic tissue and permanent tissue. A small picture has been given. You can see the meristematic regions are present on the shoot tip that is given as shoot apical meristem. Then axial meristem that means in between the leaf, the angle between the leaf and the stem. Then lateral meristem which is on the stem. Then you have the root apical meristem and adventitious meristem. In the case of permanent tissue, we have the sterenchyma, colonchyma, parenchyma. We will see in details later on. So thank you for watching. See you soon.